What and, what is the the flag stand for? It's a very unique looking flag. Uh huh. So our uh, flag has uh, three stripes with the blue, red, and blue color. So uh, the blue, of course, is uh, our blue sky, right? Mm -hmm. And the red one is the symbol of um, growth and uh, prosperity, freedom also. So it's more. Uh, it was like a communist flag. But the most important uh, symbol of this flag is the yellow symbol called the Soyamp. It was invented by the first religious um, leader of Mongolia, Saint, back in 17th century. So it's uh, part of this um, um, letter. And uh, this Soyamp letter has fire on top, representing uh, four ti uh, three times uh, sun, uh, three, uh, three times past, present, future. And then we have a sun, moon, that is uh, the earth, like a sky. Then we have uh, the um, uh, uh, rectangle, uh, which represents the um, sharpness as a arrow. So then we have a uh, two column for protection, for firmness. Then inside we have a uh, yin yen, the pair of fish uh, overlooking. I'm showing it right now for viewers as you're describing it. Continue to describe it. Yeah, so uh, the yellow thing is called Soyan Bride. So we have arrow to column for firmness. And then we have uh, yin yang, the pair of fish for protection and for um, peace of this country. So two red, yeah, red, red is um, uh, freedom, freedom and prosperity. So that's our uh, Mongolian flag. <laughs> Soyom makes it very special. Yeah, it definitely does. How do you say that? Soy Soyom. 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 Yeah, so, and the yin yang and yeah. yeah. What What are the spiritual yeah. beliefs in the country? What do What do spiritual people? Beliefs. Yeah, there's a lot of like yeah. spiritual history in the country throughout the ages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So originally we were a uh, shamanic people. Uh, believed in the Ingerism, the blue sky and and the uh, natural uh, soul and spirit. And uh, then uh, from 16th to 20th century, there was an um, introduction of Tibetan Buddhism to Mongolia. So uh, okay. that time we built uh, hundreds of monasteries, temples, and um, lots of men became a monk. So um, we still have those uh, monasteries, some of them ruined, restored uh, under the communist era. And uh, yeah, so this um, symbol was invented by the first religious leader of Mongolia, who was a great artist and a monk, right? So um, from that time, we had a nine religious leader of Mongolia uh, leading us spiritually. Uh, <clears throat> while we were uh, ruled by China, right? So the first uh, two um, leaders were from Mongolia. The rest were Tibetan people. Okay. Tibetan. So uh, we allied with the Tibet, uh, choosing the uh, leader of each country. So Dalai Lama, Dalai Lama is a Mongolian name, Mongolian word. Dalai is ocean endless. So that's what name we gave to the leader of Tibet and in return, they chose our leader. So that's how we had very good um, touch with the uh, Tibet. That's so, fascinating. Yeah. 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 Wow. From 17 wow. to 20th century and yeah. Huh. Interesting. So it means uh, a very strong uh, Tibetan Buddhist country. It's still the case. So, for example, uh, we check lunar calendar for hair cutting because there are days, uh, bad days for this. <laughs> and uh, we also check these days for um, uh, for wedding and funeral. So it's everyone marries on the same day. <laughs> oh, really? Funeral, yeah. Huh. On any day, we have to check it, right? And uh, for funeral, we choose um, odd numbers, not even. And then we have to consult with the monk, choosing the date, the day. Okay. For the event, yeah. 
Okay, so go back to this wedding day. So uh -huh. if you want to get married, say in like 2022, is there like a specific uh -huh. day that you have to get married on? Yeah, there are already uh, days been um, um, been uh, declared as good or as best. Okay. So you pick those days. And every okay. year we celebrate the Lunar New Year. And uh, the date of this <laughs> Lunar New Year is also uh, chosen by the monk, right? So, uh, yeah, so that that's uh, associated with the lunar um, movement and astrology because this uh, Buddhism is uh, very scientific. Uh, yeah. Religion, right. Wow, that's interesting. Yes. Uh, going back to the capital, what mm -hmm. what are people? What topic are people talking a lot about right now? Mm. So right now, um, uh, just um, our president, of, uh, our president, uh, initiated a national campaign for planting uh, one billion trees until oh. twenty thirty. So okay. for nine years, we will be planting trees, right, to reach this number. And uh, this is also a very good solution because our country as only 8% um, of the landscape is tree, forest. The rest is okay. barren, right? So it's also, um, we are suffering from uh, some kind of desertation. Okay. Sand. So tree is very important. What kind of trees are they going to plant? Well, uh, they will plant um, uh, calm trees, like large Siberian uh, Large, yeah. You said right. Siberian palm trees? Mm -hmm. Huh? You said Siberian palm trees? Siberian uh, large. Yeah, Siberian. Uh, it's mostly kind of Russian style uh, trees. And then they have to discuss also. And uh, some um, Christmas trees. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So is this this is like uh what do you say conifer trees a lot of like pine trees yeah with okay. the with the nut <laughs> oh yeah wow <laughs> so that's uh that's kind of a big news um, good news actually and uh, it's also uh, we had the, last weekend we had the election re-election for uh, for one district one um, micro district and outside the city so uh, due to the um, insufficient number of uh, people votes uh, there's going to be another uh, election oh really so, yeah this week how do the nomadic people vote mm. so uh they travel they go to the uh, nearest town and our country has a very good administration system, which built during the communist time. So the Russians okay. had vision to make our country an uh, agricultural um, state. So that means there were small farms and small town village, uh, keep it with the building, uh, people, right? Mm -hmm. So that in those places, meaning uh, we have very good network of this administration and you <clears throat> nomadic people usually um uh, have a motorbike these days so they okay. will drive or they ride horse or camel to get to the place wow we have a uh, reindeer herders people okay types that they ride reindeer wow yeah What's uh out of curiosity? What's the mm -hmm. best tasting meat in in Mongolia, in your opinion? Mm, what's the best taste? Yeah. Mm, you mean uh, which animal meat? Yeah, which animal meat do you prefer? Uh, well, um, so uh, I like uh, mutton. Okay. But I also like um horse meat. <laughs> okay. With horse meat. And um, many men like to eat um, marmot meat, 
it's like a hunting. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, yeah. Huh. It's a big rotten. It has fur and but very good meat because they pick all the um, uh, herbs, medical plants, more than 200 plants and eat it. So their meat is very good. This is the marmots, the marmots. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. And they, they're like little prairie uh, kind of animals, right? Mammals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. 